Hi guys and welcome to a new video for Infinity Kingdom. This is Biakia from Server49 and I'm going to talk today about Cleopatra. It's about an immortal review. Of course Cleopatra is an, immerse, an earth magic immortal. She is playing in the back row and she leads Pumin. Of course in any marsh you have a front line and back line immortals. And we can read a little bit about her um, immortal uh, backstory, officially known as Cleopatra. She was the last pharaoh of the Ptolemaic dynasty of Egypt. Uh, lots of players uh, or lots of people are mistaken here because they know her as pharaohs, but she was in the Ptolemaic dynasty of Egypt. The Ptolemaic dynasty. Uh, pharaohs were deeply influenced by the culture of ancient Greece, but Cleopatra was the first of her line to fully embrace the language and religion of her people. She adopted Isis as her protector de uh, deity, and during her rule, she was taken to be incarnation of the wise goddess. After uh, a failed military campaign in a kitchen her husband took his own life and cleopatra decided to follow him the legend says that she allowed an asb to bite her ending her life and that of the egyptian kingdom it was also the end of the hellenic period of egypt his egyptian history and thereafter the eastern mediterranean was brought under the rule of the roman empire those are a short backstory of her. She was the first of her ha family to speak uh, ancient Egyptian, and um, her um, I think was uh, the country Greece. I don't know the name of the language specifically, but she uh, used to speak around four to five languages. Uh, anyway, we are going to talk about and the immortal itself. She performed better using her exclusive artifact because her skill. Inflicts a magical damage, damage rate 300 to all enemies, and reduces the damage dealt damage for two enemies target with the highest magical attack by 35% for 6 seconds. But her exclusive artifact, entangling snakes, now decreases enemies' magical damage by 9 seconds. It is better to use uh, her magical uh, artifact because uh, the 9 seconds is fair against at least fire because fire immortal as uh, for example uh, here in Brisbane, her energy region is so high so she can use her skill uh, multiple times uh, instead of Cleopatra. As you can see here, her energy region is lower than Empress Wu. Uh, because of that, you have to uh, use this skill for a longer duration than 6 seconds. We need uh, Empress Wu, if we are facing fire, to have uh, a magical attack uh, decreased by 35%. And uh, because Earth counter water, we have to check Merlin, but I can't uh, tell you the exact uh, energy region for maxed uh, Merlin because I don't use him but I can show you my friend uh, here let me show you any of the maxed Merlin here energy region is 80 didn't hit even uh, 90 or something like that so she can counter Merlin without her artifact but with her artifact there is a a better uh, solution and for her artifact i encourage you have deadly instead of annihilation this uh, artifact is not good for her for these stats don't uh, do the same as me i'm just using it because i don't have a better one for her if you have a, a magical attack or a magical attack bonus deadly or annihilation it's better to use magical attack or magical attack bonus instead of crit rate you can also use a crit value instead of crit rate crit value perform better and um, Cleopatra. I made a special video on magical artifacts. You can check it on on my YouTube channel. But because I'm using, uh, because I have this crit rate annihilation and it is maxed out uh, for the level, I don't want to waste it. I'm, I keep using it till I get a better artifact for Cleopatra. And as I said, the ideal artifact is having a magical attack or magical attack bonus with a special attribute. It would be deadly, deadly like this one. Um, I don't have a magical attack to show you, but yeah, yani, when I get someone uh, some artifact, I will use it on here.
of course i will keep using her exclusive artifact even if it has the bad stats because i'm using her skills not to use a cleopatra to deal damage but i'm using here to decrease the magical attack of the enemies uh, in fire marsh or water marsh or lightning marsh if someone using hammurabi or baldwin for example or in the shadow marsh uh, himiko so um as you see i'm using here only to uh, decrease the magical attack in the earth marsh you can also use uh, cleopatra in the lightning marsh she will perform uh, next to jinkies khan uh, to because the lightning marsh leaks of uh, magical defense because the front line having instead counters the front line of the wind or the um, earth marsh because they also counters the physical attack so uh, the use of Cleopatra is not to deal damage but to uh, decrease the magical uh, damage uh, upcoming and as you see i'm not using lots of skills uh, to deal damage also because i don't have uh, her artifact when i get her artifact and increase the uh, magical attack i can use a lot of uh, skills the skills you can use on uh, in, in the game you can use uh, concentration of course you can use annihilation but because i'm having embers who uh, on my second marsh and i'm using it uh, as a strong uh, immortal so i keep annihilation on embers who but you can use annihilation on uh, cleopatra also tox toxin nova or fire nova if you are in early game i uh, highly recommend having wisdom also you can increase her crit rate uh, having rage so the ideal build for her is concentration toxin nova annihilation or annihilation death breath and concentration or wisdom um, you can have multiple um, build on here but i'm using uh, an aura here it's berserk uh, a grace energy separation and concentration to deal some damage i can remove uh, concentration and use um, a toxin nova instead of uh, concentration to deal some uh, damage to the enemies but um yeah it's traditional from uh, a fight to another fight so um, these are the only builds you can build uh, cleopatra with the only use uh, you can have here because her skill doesn't deal much damage as you see it's 300 uh, damage to all enemies here for example embers who deals 600 damage for all enemies so it is uh, for cleopatra it's half the damage that embers do who deals and of course as baldwin he deals also a, a 600 damage for the first tornado and, and the tornado spills and um, it spills multiple times so it deals more damage than cleopatra and for example the new immortal loki he also deals uh, more damage than um cleopatra and uh, when someone is having confusion the damage is being uh, multiplied also for uh, merlin he deals uh, up to 500 and uh, 520 damage and instead of cleopatra she is doing 300 damage so from mages cleopatra has the lowest uh, damage uh, as you see here, uh, Medib is uh, an elite immortal, not an epic immortal. She has 250 damage, but she has a continuous damage to 100 when she is maxed out. So total damage that coming from uh, her skill is more than the damage uh, Cleopatra deals. Also Hammurabi here, um, I can summon him, but I don't want to uh, right now. He deals uh, 350 damage, but his damage multiplied when every negative effect the enemy units have for example shields and increases the damage by 50 uh, 15 percent uh, another uh, mage immortal is himiko as you see here her skill is 450 damage uh, to all enemy units if the number of targets is more than two the enormous energy will rip o open the space and pulls back a row unit immortal with the highest troop number into the void while in the void enemies can't attack or use spells nor be targeted by any normal attacks or spells for six seconds so her skill will um, just ignore one of the backline immortals and this is so will be a uh, skill i don't think we have any um, mage she deals phys physical damage right yeah she deals physical damage this is the newest uh, water immortal 
So uh, all of the magical immortals, Cleopatra deals the lowest damage in the immortals. But here, uh, menus is magical uh, damage reduce for the enemy team. So uh, as I, I said, it's better to use her artifact and also uh, make sure to get her item with uh, the elemental use. Uh, if you have any question, don't hesitate to ask me right in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.